Hello everybody, welcome. Thank you very much for watching this video. Um, first of all, I'm recording everything on my Note 9, so I don't have any USB camera or USB microphone connected, so apologize um, for a sound quality. And um, sound levels probably not gonna be in, in level during this video, so apologize for that. This video is sort of just a quick one to demonstrate what you can do with this device. And first of all, you're probably going to think like, oh my God, this is like another Chromebook, which is no, that's the wrong answer. This is a Sentio Superbook, which allows to convert your phone into a laptop. Uh, I tried, obviously, straight away answer to a question. I'm trying to get the DeX station working on that, or DeX, Samsung DeX on this. I'm still in the process of figuring out all the connections and what I need to do. But as a quick demonstration, what this device Superbook can do, I will use my old Note 4, which is, well, I have Note 9 right now, so it's Note 4, it's like at least five, four or five generations old. And I will use this device to basically play Forza Horizon 3 on the Superbook. So stay tuned. So I have a Superbook by here, which is already charged, uh, already charged it before this video. This is the Note 4. Uh, this is the cable that came with it, uh, basically USB type C to USB type B or micro USB. Uh, basically, it's a standard old fashioned Android charging cable connection. And I have this USB uh, cable which goes all the way to this USB mouse for me, easier to use everything. So, first thing, let me open this up. So, I open up, I hope the camera will be able to pick it up. So, basically, it gives me a uh, like a logo saying connect your phone to this Superbook. So what I'll do now, I'm just going to take the USB type C and we'll plug it in the side of this, I uh, don't know, let's say laptop Superbook. To make this work, uh, I figured out, well, I found out that you need to download a certain app from my Google Play Store. So I'm just quickly going to find this one on this phone and I will quickly uh, show it to you guys. So display display link desktop this is still in unreleased version the display link desktop uh, at the moment um i downloaded it and it's unreleased but it's working and it's fine so what i'll do now i'm going to take the other end of usb type b and i'll plug that in into my note 4 and i have a screen basically on this on the superbook so what i'll do just to make my life a bit easier i need to hold my phone not like this but more in landscape mode so i have so the one of these like a holder things so i'm gonna plug that uh, leave that here and just for convenience i will take my usb mouse and plug that in the side of the superbook so right now everything's connected so if i move the mouse let's say i want to go to google play store and i'm using a mouse wheel to flick through and let's see, scroll and check, uh, basically <laughs> use it as a as a PC, not like a, as a uh, I would say full working PC, but uh, a budget version PC replacement. So let's say if I Google for uh, Samsung Dex Reddit. And Dexpad, where are we? I already agreed, yes. And basically I got the results. Uh, if I'll go and let's try to make it a desktop uh, mode. So uh, right now I'm, I'm seeing the browser in sort of a desktop version. But that's not, uh, I'm here to show you just, okay, it does all these things. We're gonna convert this Superbook with just Note 4 into a, one of the powerful laptop devices you can have and with the help of shadow app so i'm starting shadow app i'm already logged into my shadow account i click start and i am in my shadow computer and i hope you can see that this is basically a windows 10 computer so with my note 4 and this superbook from sentio i can actually basically use as a, as a most powerful windows 10 machine and I can do pretty much what I can do on a Windows uh, computer. So I can go into, oh, hold on. It's a bit awkward because the mouse is like super, super big, but I can go into my emails. I can go into the YouTube. 
There you go. This is my YouTube page, Bethesda and etc. So let's close that. Actually, let me try to show you something. Uh, so can I close the tabs of Control W, open a new one. I'm going to type YouTube.com. I'm opening YouTube page. And here we are. I'm, I'm basically browsing the, the internet. Uh, by the way, the sound comes from my phone. I don't. I might need some tweaking, etc. But I still can control. Let's say, when by pressing volume up, volume down, and controlling uh, shadow PC, uh, shadow PC uh, volume. And there is a buttons at the top. I might do a full review about it. Obviously, come on, this is old, and the actual company is discontinuing this product. I don't think if anybody is receiving these products, uh, products, product, this product anymore from the Kickstarter or Indiegogo or whatever this thing. I managed to get this one on eBay for £45. So for £45, one original retail price was uh, advertised as going to be like $250. So it's like about £220. So I paid £40 on eBay. So I got this one running. So let's go and start Forza Horizon. Let's go to Start menu and open Forza Horizon. By the way, uh, I'm right now connected with my to my Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. I tried to use this dongle, which is basically USB USB hub, you know, one USB port being converted into a free, and they all USB Type three and with Ethernet connection. Sadly, for some reason, I just can't pass the um, what's it called the uh, signal Ethernet signal. So I don't really know. Uh, I just realized that because uh, I can hear sound only on my phone, it's just because this this device do not have the speakers. That's why probably that's why I can't hear the sound. So click enter. Come on, enter. And right now it's loading for the Horizon 3. Obviously, like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, apologize about the sound quality, etc. It's just my mic is here and it's not connected to my Note 9. I'm everything recording on my phone just as a, as a quick, quick and dirty video just to show you what this is doing. And uh, I'm gonna plan. I'm, I'm 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 planning to get this one converted into a Dex. Let's see how it goes. Uh, I lost the display for some reason. Uh, is it because not charged? Oh, bad. So batteries died. I thought I charged it before this video. Well, give me two seconds. I'll come back in a minute. Apologies. <laughs> I, well, I thought that I, I, char I charged it, but, well, I forgot to put the, press the, the switch on the, on the wall socket. So anyway, I got the power cord connected now. It goes all the way to the left side of this device. And as you can see, I am running Forza Horizon 3 inside the shadow cloud streaming service which runs to my Note 4, which then using the a cable being connected to a Sentio Superbook. And I have probably one of the most powerful laptop you can get for gaming. So let's, let's go. Uh, streaming quality is not bad. Uh, some, uh, and again, it's because this is Note 4 and it's a very old device. And I, I don't think if I'm getting the actual... Um, 5G Wi-Fi. Anyway, this is not bad, not bad. So let's actually check the streaming quality of the shadow. So bandwidth at the moment under 15. Uh, let's try to go to uh, 10. I just received notification. Uh, what I see on my phone on the Note 4, the quality of the game on Note 4 is much better what I see here. But again, uh, this is probably down to uh, the way that this cable USB type C to USB type B is not passing enough information, enough data not being pushed via this ca cable to get the proper 1080p screen or 1080p 80p stream, which be, by the way, this screen is 1080p panel. So I'm playing Forza Horizon on probably one of the cheapest laptops you can get and turning my Note 4 to the full let's say full but it's 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 got some caveats like uh where is the escape button it's a back button for windows when i'm gonna press this i'm gonna be taken here so it's a bit of 
need to get used to using this device. If I want to use escape, I need to press the function button, which is by here, and then press this button, which then acts as escape. But as in general, this is very, <laughs> very, very interesting, uh, very interesting device. And like I said, I'm going to try to make this to uh, become my deck station or becoming my portable decks. I don't know how it's going to happen. Uh, if you have any ideas, please leave them in a comment section below or on our subreddit group by the name of Samsung Decks. I will leave the link to subreddit group in the description below. Please let me know your thoughts about this. Uh, have you tried this? Maybe you have a better solution. Maybe you have a, just give me ideas and, and, and your your solution or your, your uh, what's this called, the experience and, and suggestions how to convert this into the portable decks. And thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next one. Bye-bye.